Good day, YouTube. This is my uh, baby citronella's tank. Uh, these guys are getting huge. Again, they were born in March, and uh, the average size is about three inches. Now I have some smaller ones in here, uh, about two inches and all, but the average size is about three inches. They did pretty good growing out in this tank. Um, as you can see, some of them are peeling. They all will eventually peel. Uh, it seems like the smaller ones are peeling a little sooner than the, the larger ones, but nevertheless, you know, they all in perfect health and they're looking good. And uh, the majority will be going to my man Ray. His dad here. Um, I guess he wants to breed, so he's chasing people around and. Uh, He's in this tank because I don't want him to breed. He's even chasing the mama around. Um, let's creep. Um, we see some of the smaller reddest leaders in there. So uh, I have found um, my male knucklehead. And the crazy thing is, man, I found knucklehead in a local fish store here in my area so there was two emotions behind it when I found them number one being pleased to be to be able to bring my man home but number two being pissed because I gave the fish to a guy who I thought that would take care of him because I was in a crunch and I needed to move some fish out and, and he was uh, referred to me um, the, the young man and um, he didn't know anything about um, that particular species. I don't even know if he knew anything about fish now that I think about it. Um, that's a nice size female right there. She's about four inches. She won't really blossom when she get into a tank of her own. And I'm gonna pair her up with this guy right here, Vindicator. Um, I had Shotgun Shug in another tank. Uh, he's just a little bigger than Vindicator, but um, he's in another community tank. But at, at back to my man Knucklehead. Um, Knucklehead is pretty much in the quarantine for now. Um, I've had him back about a week. But uh, so I gave the I gave him to a guy, and the guy uh, assured me that he would take care of him. And you know, it wasn't even six months later when I called the guy and I asked about the fish and he told me that he no longer had the fish his dad had the fish and so I said well do your dad want to you know does he want to part with the fish and he said well my dad loves the fish and I doubt if he want to part with him and you know and I, I kind of felt uneasy about the whole thing and you know but I just um, I, again I was pissed because I gave him the fish not his dad the fish uh, so I just left the conversation alone, um, never wanting to talk to the guy again because, like I said, his, his word, you know, really is no good to me anymore. Um, but I goes into this fish store and I see my fish, and I'm, you know, like again, I'm, I'm pissed, but at the same time, I'm happy that I was able to recover them, you know. Now, granted, I gave the fish away, I rehomed them. And I had to pay uh, a little a pricey uh, price. I p had to pay a hefty price tag for him, but he's back. You know what I mean? And I'll do another story on him once he come around. Um, once he get himself together, I'll do a video, an exclusive on him, and go through the story. You know about you know what went down, and you know just you know you try to give people. Um, a fair shake basically at uh at obtaining fish and even though he didn't know what he had and he probably didn't know anything about fish you know i figured that this would be a good start for him we all deserve to have a good start you know if i had a, a better start i think i would be uh further along than i am um you know but with that with you know with that being said you know you live and you learn so you know he's back home you know so that's that's, 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 that's the biggest thing right now. Look at Cover Girl. She's a camera hog. Cover Girl's still up. 
for sale. There was a guy that inquired about her. Um, and I just it's been hard for me to get to the post office to, uh, or even get in contact with the post office to figure out how much shipping would be. Um, but I need to ship her now before it get to uh, before the summer is over. Well, it's still pretty warm, but there she is. She's about, uh, about seven or eight inches, and she's thick. She's getting bigger, meaner, and uh, she's just a pet for now. She's in the tank with all these amphilophis. And one of the reasons why she's in here, um, I had to keep her in an overcrowded tank because she's super aggressive. And she's already claimed the life of her sister and another fish. So that's that hobo back there looking looking her awesome best and uh, I'll be breeding her pretty soon I'm gonna go pick up the male hopefully within a week and also my man Damascus I'm gonna go pick up the female for him and I'm gonna be moving him out and I'll be moving that hoga out um, moving them out of the community tank um, getting them acclimated in a um, divided tank with their future mates Damascus is getting big too he's pushing about eight inches I got him, he was probably about four inches. Yeah, about seven, about seven to eight inches. All right, YouTube, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Till next time, peace.